What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to perform the barbell row. The barbell row is a classic lift, okay, for developing thickness and width in your back muscles. Depending on how you perform the exercise, you can kind of bias different areas of your back that you want to focus on. It's a great exercise, although it's very commonly misperformed. There's a lot of common errors that you see in the gym all the time. So I've made this video to help you guys so you don't make those same mistakes so you can perform the lift correctly. Real quick guys, before we get into the video, if you're interested in online fitness coaching from a certified personal trainer that includes custom programming tailored to meet your goals, your needs, and your exercise history, as well as form checks for all the exercises you perform so that I can make sure that you're doing the exercises correctly, and weekly video calls so that we can talk face-to-face -face online to make sure that you're staying on track and you've got someone to hold you accountable, head on over to athleticbodysystems.com so you can pick out your own training package. All right, let's get into the video. So one of the common errors that I see a lot when people perform the barbell row is standing too upright. This type of row dramatically shortens the range of motion and it doesn't really set you up in a good position to get a good contraction or a good stretch on the muscles that you're wanting to work. Another common error would be the exact opposite of this where you're too hunched over and your spine is flexed, okay? You don't want to flex your spine over and be hunched over like this. You want to stand with a proud chest, all right? Kind of keep your back straight, maybe have a little bit of an arch going on and then have a proud chest as you pull the weight up to your body. To find your right row set up, okay, take the bar, stand perfectly straight up, and then hinge your hips back like you're performing a Romanian deadlift. Your torso should be just above parallel to the floor, slightly more upright than parallel. From here, you wanna drive your elbows back, get your shoulders back, your elbows back. You should feel a pretty good contraction here, up here in your traps, you should feel your shoulder blades coming together as you pull up and then control it back on the way down, okay? As you lower it down, allow the weight to kind of pull your shoulder blades apart and feel a stretch up here in your shoulders, up here in your traps, in your rear delts, okay? Notice whenever I perform the exercise, I'm not cheating and using a lot of momentum to bring the bar up to my body, right? I'm keeping it nice and controlled. This is what your barbell rows should look like. An error that usually results from people using too much weight is they'll use a lot of momentum and a lot of body English to bring the bar up to their body and they won't even be able to bring the bar up that last couple of inches or so. What they'll have to do is they'll have to lift their body up and then bring their body to the bar to complete the rep rather than focusing on bringing the bar to their body, okay? If every rep of all of your sets of rows look like this, you, go, you need to go ahead and ask yourself, am I using too much weight? Because the answer is probably yes. One of the benefits of barbell rowing that you don't get out of dumbbells is the fact that your hands are fixed on the bar during your set, so your grip width can actually affect how your muscles are targeted by your barbell row, okay? So for example, if you grip the bar just at or maybe just outside of shoulder width, you're gonna be pulling the bar to your stomach. You're gonna be keeping your elbows tucked in. This is gonna be more of a lat bias row. Whereas if you grip the bar a little bit wider and keep your elbows a little bit more flared out, you're gonna be bringing the bar to your sternum, which is gonna target your upper back musculature a little bit more. Now obviously this is gonna be kind of a spectrum, all right? It's not like you're losing all of your lat activation by doing a wide grip and then vice versa, okay? It's just that you can kind of target it a little bit differently and you can kind of select what kind of row you want based on what areas you really wanna focus on. While we're on the subject of grip, if you feel like your grip is starting to give out and you're letting go of the bar before you can complete your reps, use straps, okay? Straps are great. You can get a pair on Amazon for like 15 bucks and you'll have them forever, okay? You never want your grip to be the limiting factor on anything that you do other than grip training. So if you use straps, you can hold onto the bar and you don't have to worry about losing your grip and letting go of the bar accidentally, okay? So you can really just focus on training your back. That's really all I got for you today, guys. If you found this video helpful and you want to see more videos like this, as well as muscle building workouts and more exercise tutorials, nutrition videos, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell down below so you don't miss out on the gains. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.